All right, I hope you had some fun with the for loop. Now you're getting the whole picture of programming here, especially programming in Dart. And hopefully you're starting to do a lot of damage. The good kind of damage, of course, not the bad kind. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the do the while and do while loop. Now the while and do while loop um, are very similar, but here's the, the distinction. I'm gonna go ahead and say while, just for you to take a look. Again, this is actually something you will see that is very interesting. This expression here, while true, then we can do whatever else we need to do here. So I'm gonna say, say print, I'm gonna pass in here, going, okay? Notice what's gonna happen the moment we run this. Okay, this is not good because as you can see, it's good because it's working, but at the same time, uh, it, this will keep going until you run out of memory. So this is not a good idea. So right away when you do that, go ahead and click here at the bottom or at the top here to stop. So I'm gonna stop. As you can see, if you look at the cursor here, it went for too long. If we had kept it going, it would have kept going until forever until our computer ran out of memory. So it's not a very good thing, right? This is the infinite loop as they call. So this is not good, okay? So you see here this while, it says while this is true, now I passed here a Boolean, but this could have very well been um, a variable type or a condition. So I could say while, for instance, number, is greater than 23 um, to run this, right? You know that this number we've created earlier at the top here, okay? So again, the expression that needs to be passed here has to be, be something that once evaluated, it returns a Boolean. So either true or false. The best way for us to avoid the infinite loop is the do while. Now do while is a special while loop that gives us a little bit more flexibility. And I'm gonna go ahead and comment this out. So to do while, you start by saying do, there we go. And of course we have our enclosing brackets here and I'm gonna say while. So the beauty of this is that a do while allows us to at least run the expressions that we need or the code or the logic that we need at least once before the expression is evaluated there. So if you are in a, in a position where you need to, for something to run first before it is evaluated, then do while is what you need to do. So I could say for instance here do print hello world while number is greater than and of course I'm going to go ahead and put a semicolon okay so if you run this of course number is indeed 34 that's not going to run right but you get it yet if I put 30 here you'll see that will go ahead and run and you can see at the bottom here it says hello world. The reason why even though this is not true number is is not less than 34 so this shouldn't run, but this print hello world ran because, like I say, do this first. Only after we run whatever's inside here will we then go ahead and look at the expression here. And then if this is true, we're going to go back and run. Going back to the infinite loop here, there is another way in which we can actually stop the ongoing, the infinite looping. The way we do this is we use what they call the break. So we can say while true, this is infinite loop, we're going to do this. And then at the bottom here, I'm going to go ahead and say break, just like that. Let's see what's going to happen. Run. It just went ahead and say going and stopped because went ahead and run once and then we call the break. If we wanted to be a little bit more elaborate, we could have just said, for instance, if num number is greater than or equal to 34. I'm gonna make this like that. And then I'm gonna say break. Okay, can get rid of this. And then once it's break, I can just go ahead and say print. I am back. As such. Now you notice here what's happening. It says dead code. Why is it dead code? Because we said break. The moment you say break, then the execution of the entire uh, loop halts, stops, breaks. 
that's the reason why this is not going to work, right? So we can read of this. Now I'm going to go ahead and run this. It does the same thing. It says going because this is true, but if number is greater than or equal 34, print. But that's not true, right? Number is not greater than 34. So let's see. Um, 32. Let's see what's going to happen. Ah, you see? It at least ran once before it break. Again, the same thing. Okay, so whenever you want to break, whenever you want to break the loop, just use break. But you also notice the break is not only used in the while loop. Break can be used in the for loop and so forth and many other places. But this is the idea here. All right, perfect. I'll see you in the next video.